Hello beauties, yes, I'm still here. Okay, I wanted to bring this video because it's been actually one of my most requested videos over the past few months. And if I don't have time to make any other videos, I definitely like to come and make the videos that are requested by you lovely ladies. So here it is, as the title state, this video is going to give you a tutorial on how I apply my bentonite clay mud wash. As many of you know about Four months ago, I came and did a video um, announcing that I was leaving traditional shampooing alone and I had found this alternative to shampooing which I had fallen in love with and that was using the bentonite clay as a mud wash. And I'm going to tell you ladies, I've been using this about four months strong and I am more in love with it now than I was then. And one of the main reasons is because I have found it to um, give me... Um, more benefits than actually what I set out to get from it. Um, one benefit I would like to take a moment to mention. Now, I would say that being a protective style lady or no manipulation to no manipulation um, hairstyle beauty, um, one of my most, I would say, stressful times in doing my hair is when it's time for me to de-shed and detangle because that is when I find that I am applying the most tension and stress to my hair. And I really don't like that. But I do wash my hair once a week and before I would normally wash it, I would have to de-shed and detangle. Well, now I don't really have to go through too much of a grueling detangling process because of the bentonite clay mud wash. Before I would spritz my hair, um, with water or I would use a detangler and I would de-shed with my fingers then I would go through working from the bottom up with my comb and then I would end with another de-shed and recall from one of my previous video it was my three-step finger comb finger process well, now that I have been using the bentonite clay mud wash, I really don't know how to go through that detangling process anymore because the bentonite clay mud wash actually have great ladies. I'm talking about great detangling properties in it. So now I just do a quick de-shedding with my fingers and that's just going through each section, just seeing what I can pull out. I'm not pulling with a lot of force with my fingers, but I'm just gently just pulling out any shed hairs. And that's all. I do not use no comb anymore. And sometimes I've been finding myself going two, three weeks without even having to use a comb. Everything's been with my fingers. And I'm talking about period. So I have really truly been loving this because I found that um, I'm not losing as much hair as I was before when I would do the regular detangling with the comb and i'm not having any type of nodding tangling anything like that so i am truly truly more in love with this bentonite clay mud wash than i was four months ago when i first tried it so i just had wanted to mention that because i know that some ladies are going through um a process with their hair care journey just like myself. I would never use the word transitioning because I don't feel that the term transitioning for what we use it as, and I mainly use it for ladies who are transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair. So I would never want to belittle their struggle in going through that by saying I am transitioning. I don't look at what I'm going through as transitioning because I'm just going from bone straight relaxed hair to text lax. Even though it is a process and it is one that you have to put care into, I still don't feel that it is the type of transitioning that other ladies are going through. And I never, never want to belittle um, or lighten anyone's struggle for what they're going through because that's something that I wasn't able to go through three times over. I tried going natural three times and end up having to give, you know, give in because of I couldn't get through the transitioning. So, um, so for me, when I say that I'm going through a process, I'm speaking of just the care, the extra care I have to put into my hair going from bone straight relax to text lax. And for me, I do leave a lot of texture in my hair, but it's nothing like my natural texture. So, Having a method 
where I do not have to put any stress and a lot of tension on my hair strand, knowing that I have several demarcation points. I have the demarcation point going from bone straight to text lax, and then I have demarcation point going from text lax to my natural hair. So I have to be very gentle with my hair due to those demarcation points. So again, finding something that I don't have to put a lot of tension in my hair, I'm loving it, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm only gonna do the front section um, in interest of time. Now, I've already have prepped my hair. Um, I'll try and get a little closer. I am pre-pooing, um, and as far as the products that I use for my pre-poo, um, for my hair strands, I've actually used, um, this is by Parachute. This is uh, Ayurvedic, an uh, Indian product. It's called Secrets, the hair oil recipe for damaged hair repair. And this actually has cactus, honey, jojoba, and coconut oil in it. Um, as you can see, I pretty much really like this. Um, almost gone, but this is what I have on my hair strand. And as far as what I have on my scalp, I have, this is a homemade mixture. And if you can see this two-tone because of the different products that I have in it. I have some good Ayurvedic Indium products in there. I have some natural oils. I have some keratin. Um, I have um, hydrolyzed protein. I have onion oil, garlic oil. I have so many goodies in here. And I actually applied this as my pre-poo to my scalp and I really love this. Um, it's a good Ayurvedic oil blend in here. Now, I put that on early this morning and it has been sitting on my hair for, I would say about five hours now. So it's already sectioned off. And again, I did not do any detangling. I just did a de-shedding with my fingers and went on ahead and applied the oil and now I'm just going to clip the sections up so that I can get to each section um, faster in applying the bentonite clay mud wash okay and I apply it in sections as you all know I know I look funny but hey the cost of beauty right so here it is. Now, as many of you all know, who has been following me, I have um, posted a video on how I prepare my bentonite clay mud wash. And I know some of you like, oh, that looked like a ketchup bottle. Well, it is. This is the restaurant ketchup mustard bottle that you find a lot of times. Um, I actually bought this from my local um, um, corner store. They were selling them for 10 cents. So I bought this and I cut the, the nozzle down right there, which makes it a little um, easier for me to apply thicker consistency um, products to my hair. So I've already done pre-mixed it and you can look back at the previous video. Actually, I need to upload a new video because I mix it a little bit different now that gives me a better consistency and makes it easier for me to mix. But I got it all mixed up in here. So I'm now gonna take it, take the nozzle, and I'm going to go right to my scalp. And I'm just going to squeeze some out. Get it all, get it good on my scalp, and then I'll screech my scalp. And for those who are not familiar with the term screeching, that is when you take the pads of your finger. Some ladies take their nails. I don't have any. So I just take the pads of my finger and I give my hair. And I'm going to use the word aggressive, but don't think that I'm being too aggressive. But just give it a, a good rubbing. Okay? And that's going to help get that bentonite clay all on that scalp so that it can really get in the pores and do a deep cleansing. Then I just take it and I apply it to the remainder of the section along the hair strands. It 
and I come all the way down to the very tips to make sure I get the tips and then I'll take this section and just twist it back up move on to this next section one thing I like about the bentonite clay is that I am still able to do my pre-pool sessions because as you all know I love pre-pooling However, with the bentonite clay, um, I'm limited in the type of pre-pools that I am able to do. Like I can't do my um, um, molasses treatments anymore. Um, actually, let me say this. I have not done a molasses treatment because I don't know if, if that will be good to do with the clay. Excuse me. <laughs> so I apply that. Go ahead and I'm gonna get up under here and get that really worked in good on my scalp. And now I'm going to take it and apply it on the hair strand. Just work it on down all the way to the end. See, it's all worked in there. Okay. And go ahead and twist this away. And I'm going to move on to the next section. Now, for this section, well, I'll wait to, to the top. But for this section, I'm going to show you a different way to do it. And that is parting each section. Uh -oh. and applying it, part it, and apply it, screech it in. Now I would normally do that when I'm deep into my stretch, but right now I really, not really too deep into my stretch so I can actually get to my scalp with my fingers. So I'm going to screech in there with the pads of my fingertips and get that worked in so that I can get a good deep cleansing. And apply that and work my way down the hair strand. All the way down to the tips. Then twist that down and move on to this section. Again, get that to the scalp. The nozzle is very convenient. It's, it's big enough for the mud, for thick consistency products to come out of it, but thin, skinny enough to get to my scalp. Then apply it all the way down the strand to the very, very tip. And twist it. And I will actually go through, do all the sections. I would then pin all the sections up at the top of my head. I will put my shower cap on and I will let this sit on my hair for 15, 20, 30 minutes. I have not gone over 45 minutes. And then I rinse it out. And as it's rinsing out, I just continue to screech with the pads of my fingertips. And that's it and move on to my deep conditioning. And I tell you, I get the best the best cleansing ever and my hair is actually it is detangled and i actually can do wet combing which i didn't it wasn't able to do before so i'll be bringing part two to this after i rinse it out so until then god bless <laughs>